have water in the house. Praise God. Utilizó a Moisés cuando no podría hablar. Here we are with uh, the Brad Howe family out in Breu, right on the border of Brazil, and we are installing a HughesNet system so that they will have high-speed internet way out here in the jungle. We're really excited about having it. We're we're enjoying being out here helping them too. Yes, we are Brad and Rebecca and Coleman Howe. And we work with the Ashinaga people here in Peru. And we have been in Peru for about four years now, working on five. And um, we live out in the community. We spend most of our time in the community in the Ashinaga village. And another advantage is being that we uh, do spend a lot of time out in the communities. We fly out there with uh, the missionary pilots. And the, the, the aviation base is super close um, to the Petra base here, only about a five minute drive. So that is a, a huge blessing to us. We can come in from the village and in five minutes uh, be here, be home. Van and Vanessa are always looking for ways to uh, support us, help us. And even in little things like um, fixing uh, Coleman's pellet gun. Uh, Van took the time to uh, fix up Coleman's pellet gun and ship that out to us out there in the in the village and so uh, we uh, really appreciate the Brocks and, and all that they do to, uh, to serve in this way. I like Petra Base because there's hot water in the showers and there's also a pool to go swimming in. We just so appreciate Van and Vanessa. So our history um, hasn't always been as smooth for going out. We've had really crazy, stressful times before going out to the village and just being here and having them take care of us and have a place to stay and all ready for us when we come out of the village. It's so, it takes so much stress out of that part of our lives and we are so appreciative of that. We're just so thankful for them and this connection that we have now to be able to stay here and yeah, they're a real answer to prayer. Literally, we were praying for a place to stay and this is God's answer for us right now, so we're so thankful for that. So we are the Dumitrus, uh, this Romanian family uh, that moved to Bucalpa like five years ago when we had a uh, toddler uh, and we decided to, to uh, build a house closer to where we have our ministry because of the baby, especially because we wanted to be closer to a city, a doctor and a hospital in case of emergencies. And we were very happy to uh, find from a friend that there is this family that has a property for missionaries and we don't have to be a part of their mission to be able to build our house on their property because they are independent. And that was such a blessing for us because we are working here with the uh, Peruvian uh, missionary organization that doesn't have a property, a missionary base here in the jungle for us missionary to live and leave our stuff where we are in the tribe. We came here and we settled, uh, we built a house and when we are in the tribe we are without no worries because we know that they are taking care of our stuff and of our house and on top of that if we need something, if something breaks while well, we are in the tribe or we need something to be shipped from the city, they are always willing to serve and send us whatever we need. So yes, we are very thankful to have neighbors and just like a support team being here in Pukapa for us uh, and uh, we are very grateful for your help for them to be here and serve us and the whole missionary community in Pukapa. Um, this is a project we're doing for Sam Academy. This was their comedor, their uh, dining hall. 
And so we have opened it up. The project is to be air conditioned and insulated, and we are putting glass windows all the way around, and we about how we put some structural headers in and such. But it's going to be a, a really nice place for, this, for Sam Academy when we get done, and this is a missionary kids' school here in Bucalpa, Peru. We're thrilled to be able to help them with this. This has been a blessed and productive term for us, and we are super excited to see what God is going to do next. With our mission house finished, our support ministry for tribal missions in full swing, and a new team member on the way, we are looking ahead to this term's goals. The first priority is building more housing for the church planning missionaries that work out in the tribes. We already have a foundation and have purchased the bricks to build a duplex that should house two families. Another big project ahead of us for the infrastructure of the base is a solar panel array. The monthly cost of electricity is by far our greatest expense, and in order for us to make the base self-sustaining, we must find an alternative energy source. A grid-tie solar system seems to be the best option. The initial cost will be about $8,000. Secondly, we just can't wait to continue building the camp facilities so that ministry can take off and be a blessing to our local churches and beyond. The next phase is a well to supply water for the camp. That will cost about $2,000. Camp housing is next. We have found a local builder that is selling prefabricated cabins made out of hardwood that will probably cost around $7,000 a piece. The plan is to put five of them on one side with red roofs and five with blue roofs for the other side. The purchase and assembly of a cabin or two could be a really cool project for a mission strip. The funding for all of this is something that we are trusting the Lord to provide soon in order to facilitate this kingdom work. <laughs>